Hello everyone. Today we have uh, Mega with us. And Mega, I'm so happy you are our Adobe girl. And she's cleared Adobe and uh, with one of the highest packages that the students have got in the 2019 batch. So it's all over to you, Mega. Just let us know how did you go about, what were the rounds? First of all, what were the rounds and how did you clear it? Yeah, uh, so starting with the online round. Uh, the online round consisted of two parts. One was the aptitude part mm. and one was the coding part. Mm. So aptitude was about 60 minutes and coding was 30 minutes. Mm. For coding, uh, there were two questions. Mm. Uh, they were looking for optimized code. Mm -hmm. So in 30 minutes, you had to do two codes. Uh, I would say the level of question was easy, mm. but then you need to think to make it optimized. Mm. That was the mm. part there. Mm. And in the aptitude part, uh, it consisted of almost all the topics like logical reasoning, um, quantitative questions, uh, English questions, mm. uh, all those things. All right. So the, the time was enough or I mean, did you really have to practice a lot? Or yeah, uh, uh, you need to have practice. You need to have a grip on uh, how to solve the questions. All right. But then if you have good uh, control on apti, then it was not tough. Okay. Good. So any suggestion for any good sites for aptitude or and uh, coding? Uh, yeah, so uh, you can practice on uh, Geeks for Geeks. Hacker Rank, Hacker Earth. That is for coding. Yeah, that's for coding. Yes. Uh, and for aptitude, ha you have so many books uh -huh. uh, and uh, you get shortcuts online. Yeah. Uh, they give, like, for a specific problem, how we can go uh, approach for Any it. particular, anything in particular? Uh, nothing in particular. Okay. You can just search and you can find many right. websites. All that. right. But still, if you can tell the viewers, because a lot of students in the first year, second year. Uh, uh, you did what? Olive board and... Uh, yeah, olive board. Yeah, okay. one thing is olive board. That's an online platform, okay? Yeah. yeah. So in that you can get several questions mm -hmm. and even company specific mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. And rest, yeah, online. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, what happened? I mean, after your in, uh, initial rounds, yeah. uh, what so, was the next? So uh, the next round was, uh, there were two technical rounds, one managerial round mm -hmm. and one HR round. Mm -hmm. So the three rounds were uh, uh, like, they will eliminate you. Mm -hmm. And the last round was... HR mm. was uh, just not non-elimination round. Mm. So what happened was in the first two rounds, immediately they will tell you uh, whether you are in or you are out mm. and you can go home after that. Mm. But in the managerial round, they will not tell you the result. Okay. Uh, so the result was announced af after a few days. All right. So what happened in your technical and the managerial? Yeah. Uh, so technical round was kind of like around, went on for around one and a half hours yeah. each round. Uh, so. Uh, starting, they asked uh, like the languages you are comfortable with and uh, the projects. Uh, they wanted me to explain in depth uh, about the projects. And then uh, after they asked me the language, uh, they asked so several uh, coding questions. Mm. Uh, starting from the simple ones like uh, palindrome numbers. Mm. Uh, and then it went on to like linked lists, mm. um, stacks, queues. What was the language that you had mentioned? Uh, uh, C. C. So is it okay? I mean, a lot of people have this, you know, I need to do those high-end uh, languages and uh, you just uh, had C, that's about it? Uh, no, I had three languages mentioned uh -huh. in my resume, uh, but uh, I didn't have any Java, Python mentioned. Okay, which, which are the languages that you had mentioned? C, C++ and SQL. Okay. Uh, so uh, they just want you to know whatever you have written in the resume, mm. you need to know them in depth. Mm. You need not go and uh, put your leg in like so many boats. All right. Just what you what you have learned, learn properly. All right. Uh, and then they just want to see your approach. Uh -huh. Even if they give a code, they actually don't see how you have coded it. Uh, like they don't care about the language that you're coding in. Okay. They just want to see your logic, uh -huh. how you go to approach the code. That's it. All right. So can you say a few questions? I mean, what were asked? Yeah, uh, I remember only a few. All right. Uh, because there was uh, yeah. several questions. Uh, so one of them were, um, the input will be uh, an array of pointers. Each pointer is pointing to a linked list mm. and the linked lists are sorted in ascending order. So uh, I need to write a code to merge all these linked lists such that the final linked list is also in an ascending order. Okay. Uh, so one was that uh, and they give you time. Uh, you can write a code and then they will keep on asking, can you optimize it? Can you make it more better? Mm -hmm. And then uh, like uh, there were many string problems. Mm. Like uh, if, if, you, if there is a string, uh, like my name itself, mm. Mega, mm. I need to uh, write a program to find all the possible permutations of my name. Mm. For example, if I have Mega, next permutation would be say E, M, G, H, mm. A, mm. all the permutations of those. And then few simple things like uh, for palindrome, mm. check if a string is a palindrome or not, mm. check if a number is palindrome. Uh, and uh, uh, 
given a queue, mm. uh, can you implement stack using it? Mm. And given a stack mm. in, uh, queue, mm -hmm. and few DBMS questions also, right. because I had mentioned SQL in my. All right. So do you remember anything? Uh, I don't remember that particular uh, okay. question. Uh, yeah. But fairly okay, simple, from the basics, fundamentals or? Uh yeah, actually, um, the coding questions are a little tricky, mm. but then uh, the questions that they ask, mm. uh, that is theoretical questions, mm. they are not, uh, you know, that much in depth. Mm. Actually, the questions are simple, mm. but they don't want you to answer like a, a textbook answer. Mm. They don't expect you to answer those. They want to know the uh, implementation of it and the, the real-time answers for that. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, it was a panel or was it was it uh, one to one interview? One to one, all right. Yeah, and also the interview uh, consisted of puzzles, uh -huh. aptitude questions. It okay, was again, aptitude was there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah they asked like uh, questions like, uh, if uh, I have four members and mm. you want to, you know, permutation combination mm. questions and mm -hmm. stuff, uh, you have to do it in front of them and explain to mm -hmm. them how you are uh, mm -hmm. doing the problems. Mm -hmm. And then there were puzzles. Mm. Um, like uh, you, there is a building. Mm. Uh, you don't have any measuring tape. Mm. How do you uh, measure the height of the building? Mm -hmm. All such questions. How do you measure? Uh, I just uh, gave an answer <laughs> that uh, we throw an object on the top of the building. Huh? We measure the speed of the uh, like when it falls down. Okay. Uh, so and also the time is recorded hmm. from the time it is at the top and at the bottom. Then we have a formula for that. Uh, okay. By using uh, that, we can find out the okay. distance. Okay. So I hope viewers, more or less, you get an idea as to what sort of questions are asked and how you can go about it. And then uh, it was for one and a half hours. Yeah, that's each. pretty long. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, you went into the managerial round. Yeah. So what was there? Uh, even managerial round was kind of technical. Uh -huh. There were few technical questions and uh -huh. there were many puzzles. Okay. Uh, and questions were like, uh, uh, consider you have a pen. Uh -huh. uh, you want to test it. Okay. In what ways will you test it? Okay. Uh, or uh, uh, there is like manholes, drainages. Uh -huh. Why are they always circular? All right. Uh, like they just want to see what kind of answers you give. All right. Even he mentioned that there is no particular right or wrong right. answer. It is just okay. that we want to know how you go through All it. All right. So was it uh, something which was which you were not prepared for or uh, you found it? So no, uh, it was all like spontaneous actually. Right. Okay. Uh, like whatever you feel, whatever you think is mm -hmm. the right answer, mm -hmm. you just go with Go it. with that. And uh, oh, uh, finally, I would like to ask you one question. You said that, you know, you actually wrote for TVS Motors and you didn't get selected. But here you could. So what actually uh, was the differenti uh, differentiator? And, and why didn't you get there, you know? Because you could have actually got there. It was much more easier. Yeah, so actually the thing was that it was the first company. Uh -huh. And then I didn't know how to prepare for it. Uh -huh. uh, so later on, I came to know that uh, for a company, you need to understand their web... You need to go through their website and understand what kind of technologies and what are they actually looking for in a all right. So based on that, if you uh, answer in that way, then there is a high chance of getting selected. All right. Because I, I was earlier talking to Megha and she was telling that the project that she mentioned for TVS Motors was something which they were not doing. And actually it was mentioned in the website. So I think this really helps that you check the website because these small things really add on. So thank you Megha very much and we wish you all the very best and thank I hope you. you really do well over there in Adobe. So thanks so much. Thank you.